Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I don't know if you remember in my pantry video, I talked about making a spice draw. I wasn't really sure. Well, I did it sis. And I absolutely love it. My pantry is kind of far away from my kitchen. It's not ideal. Like I have to keep running back and forth when I'm cooking. So I wanted to make something um, that was close and easily accessible. So I made a spice draw. So I ordered these um, little glass um, spice jars from Amazon. They are the Aozita four ounce glass spice straws um jars they come 24 in a pack and i bought two packs and then let's talk about these labels so the labels i got was from a company off of etsy they're called the De dwelling company um and they are the modern minimalist spice labels um so the size that i bought were the one and a quarter by two and a quarter white labels and so they have like a standard set of 40 or 80 labels that you could choose from or you could customize all of your labels um so what i did was i got the standard set of 40 and then I customized an additional 15 labels um, because some of the labels that were in the standard set of 40 I didn't need it or in the um, set they didn't have what I needed um, but it was easy to customize and it was cost efficient so I got the 40 and then I um, customized an additional 15 to make 55 labels um, and I actually have like I don't know I have like seven labels left that I really you know cinnamon sticks I don't buy so just stuff like that um, but if you want to you could customize all of your labels but it was really simple to put on and then we're going to talk about these um, set of three I also got from Amazon um, they're the a set of three funnels and I'm just using these to funnel in um, my my spices into my jar to make it easier I mean you don't have to use a funnel it's just some of the spices are kind of like you know the, it's it's it can be challenging so use something but I will say that the jars do does come with a funnel but it's not it's just like a blue plastic funnel I wanted to use something that Cause I use funnels all the time. So I wanted to have something that was like, you know, cute and goes with my decor. So I bought the stainless steel ones, but from now, from here on, I am literally just funneling in my spices into the draw jars. And what I will say, this was the most tedious part of the whole entire process. Um, it took me a minute to do because it was just, oh, uh, I don't know why it was so tedious, but it was, but it was well worth it in the end. Um, and I did put my spices in alphabetical order. So I just am in love with how it came out. And from here on, I'm just pouring the spices in. And then once all your spices are in, you don't have to put them in alphabetical order. Um, put all of the lids on top, make sure everything's good. I am missing three spices. It's because I get them from a special store and anybody got time to be going all the way out there for this video. So I am missing three spices but you guys probably can't even tell which spices I'm missing. Um, but that's pretty much it. So then we're moving. This is the drawer that I'm using. It's a huge drawer and it's literally right next to my, um, my stove. And let's talk about my... So what I bought, the spice racks, I got them from Amazon as well. They're by Moolouche and they're the bamboo spice rack spice racks and it's actually eight spice racks um you can push them together or you can uh just have if you have a smaller drawer you can just use one it's eight spice ra spice racks but i only use six of the racks because i couldn't fit all eight in my drawer which is fine but here i already put them in alphabetical order so i'm literally just placing all the spices on the racks and i am in love can you just y'all don't understand how easy it is like i this weekend i had guests come over and they were helping me cook we were just playing playing in the kitchen like creating food and stuff and I was just like you know can I have some pass me the paprika and it was so easy for my guests to just go in there and because it was an alphabetical order oh and they all are pretty beautiful labels it's just oh paprika right here instead of them having to go into the pantry and then trying to figure out where the spices are or in that spice um lazy susan it's just so much easier if you have the room to do a spice rack or a spice jar uh, drawer please please do it all my cooks out there it will it will literally save 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 your life i'm not lying i have had a spice like cabinet where the spices be in the back and you're trying to find them and then you think you don't have a spice and then you got to go to the store and you come back and you find a spice after you came back from the store this is so easy you can see you can literally open up the jar i need some more parsley like you know it's just i love my spice draw and I also did put my measuring tools in my spice jar, um, but this is 
I love my spice draw. It is such a highlight to me in my kitchen. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do more organization videos um, in the future. But I really wanted to do this video because I think that all cooks, if you are learning to cook, if you are a cook or are a chef, a home cook, I think you need to have this. If you don't have a drawer, do a cat or you can, there are um, tools that you can make your cabinet be like more organized, but you need organization, sis or bro. You just need it in your life. But that's pretty much it guys. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you guys are washing your hands and I will see you guys at my next video.